Etie fo me mo bibia kwa ba e ba Melody TV so. Eh em se na watwe we ya mu na me de bra mo se eye honorable afenyo marking atron crater akwa koma speak of parliament se on sanso emfre parliament biom na um NDC leadership eye through Dr. Atoforsen and so atro akwa koma speak of parliament se eh, eni kwanso of free parliament na wono so na ama ni reason sintia wo tre se eni kwanso of free parliament na ya baba be within in crater no now this is the memo o say response request to recall parliament to consider outstanding public business right honorable speaker we refer to the above subject matter and trust that this memo finds you well the ndc majority caucus in parliament has taken notice of request to you, right honorable speaker, praying to recall parliament to consider so called outstanding public business. Also, we note further that the petitioner has not satisfied the threshold and requirement under Article 1123 of the Constitution and Order 531 of the Standing Orders, which require signatures of 15% of members of parliament to trigger a recall of parliament. Now, eh, uti atu fosin in semu awoka. Wa se, si ye pese parliament, ye sanso eba, eh, eh wa se ye tro na 15%. Inti MPs no, 15% esaini. Na wa she afenyo makin, ne letter wea wa tro na, wenya MPs 15% impo, into mi ansaini, ini hunti, ma speaker enfi. O se right honorable speaker, the petitioner's request is premised on an appeal to you, to exercise your discretion to recall Parliament to consider what they have termed high priority government business. They proceeded to enumerate the said businesses. As a respectfully, Mr. Speaker, we wish to submit that, based on the petitioner's own request, you are not obliged to call Parliament. Further, the petitioner has not demonstrated that there is any emergency nor urgent government business to warrant a recall of parliament with barely 11 remaining days to the crucial 2024 general election. It was a fenyo makin letter no. On nankasa tru wom se abamba gbe nankasa mfa nepe en fre parliament. En nunti atofo se na e ka tren se se afenyo makin se fawo pe a. Wan kasa obetumi aka se wom fre enye by force enye oshe. Enye oshe. Inti men fre parliament no. Na Aka 11 days a ye beto aba, obye ni mse 2024 aba to owe diye. E da gana fwe ni mpanti, aka 11 days a ye beto aba. E diye ni se, ye be fre MP so mo nye de o mo mbra pali, mo mo ba ba be jeden. Na o si, having had a distinguished parliamentary career spanning over three decades, right honorable speaker, you are very familiar with the demands and rigors of parliamentary elections as we speak. I say of parliamentary election to what I say, um, our ambagbe no watch our parliament here into your new parliament in same I say, as we speak, members of parliament from both sides are in their constituencies having critical engagement with the electorate ahead of the December 7th election. This election is not only a destiny defining election for Ghana, but a career defining one for many members of parliament. It was here, I can say, MPP MPs. E wamo constituency ya. Omo kache wamo nkro fo. Sen ya yentu waba. E mo omo. Ose right honorable speaker. The petitioner has proposed Thursday 28th November. And Friday 29th November 2024. As the date for this ill-fated and ill-timed recall. Should this request be granted. Not only would members of parliament be required to truncate their important engagement with the electorate, but members will have to contend with logistical and other challenges to commute over long distances, difficult and hard to reach constituencies to Accra. To see, Oshe, time or see free parliament, Thursday and Friday, we are or Chinani or Chinichiana, and they are how ever to MPs Neso. MPs Nibi Brewa, Ombese Sika. Obi wa wa northern region. Ati ya se. Obi wa wa northern region. E wa se oba. Obi wa 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 tree tree tree. Ni ni na no risk. E ya involved. Ati ya se. Inti ni kwa ni se. 
a uh, year uh, speaker abambag no fre i say mr speaker this proposed two day sitting if acceded to will mean that members will have less than one week to conclude their campaigns train their polling agents and make key logistical and other election day arrangements this will disadvantage many members of parliament and such a situation is most unfair it's over here so parliament by say your mom brano emma equine emma members of parliament no ammonium polling agents and casa and share strategies our model call election no emu now dear we a ya dear be a no quarini emwa a young fair i say mr speaker would recall that this is the fourth time in 2024 alone that the MPP Parliamentary Caucus is requesting an urgent recall of Parliament. It is also noteworthy that at each of the previous urgent meetings, many of the businesses listed in the instant petition, uh, I'll say many of the businesses listed um, in the instant petition were stated as so-called agent government businesses, but in the end, they were abandoned. And you see, in your first time, we are the fourth time ah, in 2024, MPP for a free parliament. Now, we are not free, no matter because we are free parliament because of agent business. Ah, up to now, agent business be anywhere we are. Also, during a similar recall, as recent as Thursday, 7th November 2024, the MPP Parliamentary Caucus, which requested the recall abandoned, uh, uh, which requested a recall, abandoned the parliamentary chamber and failed to show up to transact government business. So, I say, 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 it is on record that the MPP Parliamentary Caucus failed to mobilize up to 30 members of Parliament on their side to transact business on the floor. This was the reason why they failed to show up in the chamber. In the end, Mr. Speaker was compelled to adjourn the House indefinitely. In the senior maker, MPP Fuan and Senior Omoa Free Parliament, Sebi Omo to me, Nya Omo MP State Timpo, and Yede Amba. Now, the 12th point, I say, in view of the foregoing, it is our considered position that there is no urgent government business currently before the House to warrant an urgent recall. This current Parliament continues until the midnight of 6th January 2025. Parliament can therefore reconvene immediately after the December 7 general elections to undertake the businesses that have been outlined. Into our country, Abambagbin say. Parliament we and yan end the year, ebe end the next year, January 6th. Inti no, eh, se, bibi wo hwa yebe ya, ye tu abani we December 7th, yebe tu mi aba parliament, ni ababe ye, ati as ye. Aha, uh -huh. we no ka se, in less than two weeks, Ghanaians will be going to the polls to elect a president and members of parliament. Both the electorate and those running for office must be accorded these few remaining days to engage meaningfully so that the people of Ghana can make an informed choice. Ti wasi enche ye kotu aba. Embre we ake yi. Ye nyay empis no nomu ni omon kro fu on kasa. Ni yen kongo tu omon so aba. 14th point. Wasi, right to noble speaker. This recall that is being requested is ill-timed. And will constitute a needless drain on the Ghanaian taxpayer. We therefore respectfully urge you to reject this call in the national interest. So what trying to say. Sa a call we a omu meki and yet, um, 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 time, Papa, so and the speaker on rejecting again with barely 11 days to the elections. A recall of the house at this time will only fool the unresolved stalemate that has prevailed in recent time. We must avoid anything that has the potential to disturb the peace of our country and stability of our democracy. Rather, let us prioritize the conduct of credi uh, credible, peaceful, free and fair elections at this stage. I say, I therefore suggest a leadership meeting after the elections to resolve the stalemate and to agree on a suitable date to record the House to consider any outstanding government business. Into no, as someone walk on, and say, or country, or bambagwin, or sreno, eh, bibi wawa, ya tuwa bani wia, ni ya friend penny for nam penny for babishia, na da wamu fuse on meba parliament, no mwaba. Or say, please accept 
right honorable speaker assurances of our highest esteem and i think say um aside everything else uh utie in someone a year um at all force in area to it makes a lot of sense it makes a lot of sense what you see utie the reasons and all that now it makes a lot of sense uh because the truth is who free parliament in there i can tell you omu nya 20 parliamentarian simple i can i can tell you that obia so i see uh-huh so much more your comment box in the moment i see